Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. Today I have prepared two very easy questions for you, but I have a warning. One of these questions is tricky. So the first question is in pea plants, tall is dominant to short. Which of the following would be the genotype of heterozygous tall plant? And here four answers to choose from and answer D show us two genes, gene A and gene T, and in diploid organism we expect the same gene to be present in two copies. So this is not our answer. And answer C, uh, we see two alleles of the same gene, but both these alleles are recessive. So this is going to be phenotypically small plant so we can cross out this answer and now we are left with answer A and B and we can cross answer A because this is going to be tall plant but it's going to be homozygous for this gene so both alleles would be dominant and our question is about heterozygous tall plant and our answer would be answer B this plant phenotypically going to be tall and genotypically going to be heterozygous. So dominant and recessive allele would be present here. And now uh, a tricky question. Sickle cell anemia is a recessive trait. A woman with sickle cell anemia disease has a child with homozygous normal man with no family history of sickle cell disease. What is the probability that this couple will have a homozygous normal child. Why I call this question tricky? Because um, if this female even a carrier, so um, would be heterozygous, she still would express this genetic disorder phenotypically. But to small extent, so this disease would be uh, from uh, almost non-existent to mild, uh, would show mild symptoms. But if this woman would have two recessive alleles, her symptoms would be more severe and to a uh, larger extent. So how can we solve this problem without knowing um, the genotype of this female? So let's build two Punnett square first. So the first would be uh, our uh, proposal that uh, this uh, female is homozygous recessive. So let's uh, put small s, small s on the side and um, capital S and capital S for her husband on the top. Now we build a Punnett square and now we can predict outcome of such a cross. So we would have capital S small s here, capital S small s here, capital S small s here, and capital S small s here. I will return to this Punnett square later. So I just want to show that this is female side and this is male side. Once again, now uh, let's build a new Punnett square, but this time uh, let's suggest that female is heterozygous or a carrier, but also express this genetic disorder, but to a um, small extent. So capital S and small s would be her genotype that is going to be heterozygous and man's genotype would be normal. Capital S, capital S. Once again, we build a Punnett square and now we can see the probability of the genotypes in uh, this family uh, for the uh, progeny. So capital S, capital S here, capital S, capital S here, capital S and small s here and capital S and small s here. So now uh, let's return to our question. And our question is, what is the probability 
that this couple will have a homozygous normal child. So I want to underline homozygous normal child. So in our first variant, so once again this is female side and this is male side. So uh, in this first example where female were homozygous recessive, we see that 100% of the progeny would be uh, homozygous normal. And uh, do we have such an answer here? Yes, we have. Now let's uh, take a look here. And as you see, uh, homozygous normal would be 50% of the progeny of this couple. Do we see such an answer here? No, we do not see such an answer here. We do not have an answer as 50%. But we have an answer, answer A, as 0% of the progeny would be homozygous normal. So between two Punnett squares, we have to choose that one uh, that has an answer uh, among these four answers. And this is answer A, that um, this couple would have zero chances to have homozygous normal child because mother is homozygous recessive and father is homozygous dominant. I hope you have been able to solve this problem. If not now, you know how to solve this problem. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video, please write your comments, questions if you have any, and see you in the next video, goodbye.